the Dale Jr. impressions. Oh I know we kind of like talked about this we uh, teased it a little bit, a little bit, but uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty hilarious just to kind of hear because I think that it, you know people like this in your life where you're around them enough that you start talking like them. Yes, and that's kind of what McGee had to say. Dale's that guy that when you spend a little time with him, you start talking like him. Everything's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. What I love about Dale is he, when he gets fired up, he does this thing where he'll punch a word at the end of a sentence yeah, to yeah, make yeah. his point. He go right. You know. <laughs> yeah. you know? So true, right? So true. And, and you kind of even right? alluded to this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the impression part, I, what kind of comes to your mind, Carson, when you think about the impressions of your uncle? It's funny to me because I, like you said, when you're around those people, you start like talking like them <laughs> that much. But for me, it's more like I read stuff in his voice. Like yes. when I'm reading a tweet or even as far as like we're in family group chats, you know, we've got our, our Earnhardt <laughs> family group chat for our little family reunions that we do. And everyone's in there talking about their casseroles. And then Dale's like, what casserole are you bringing? Like, you know, like that's what I read it as. That's what I read it as. So I thought that was hilarious because, you know, he's got such a distinct like he was talking about punching the words and everything like yeah when Dale's talking you know it's Dale right so uh I start I just I find myself reading stuff in his accent more than anything in that group chat in my Bur head burgers for dinner yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who's bringing a sun drop cake that's all that's all he ever cares about there's a cadence cake. that he has and then the more excited that he gets he raises the octave like yes, I don't even yeah, like think it. I could reach that octave but uh I mean are you kidding me like are he, you like, kidding me like Mike? it goes yeah and then yeah. uh hail that's always the hail word. hail it's hail. not hell. It's hail. Yeah, that is good. Like, and McGee nailed it on the nailed it on the head there. Like, as soon as I started producing this show, I started slowly speaking <laughs> in more Daleisms. Now I'm like, speaking anytime Dale. anyone walks in a room or I walk in a room, hey man. I catch hey, myself man. doing it all the time. I accidentally did it to him one time. I had been like cutting oh, up with too. a friend about it. You're like going, hey man, hey man. <laughs> and then I want to say it was possibly Wilkesboro we were at, and and I had passed him on the grid or something like that, and I accidentally did, hey man, and I was like, oops. Accidentally, hey did man. He, what did I he hey man to the hey man. <laughs> I, I, uh, every now and then I'll get a phone call from him and I have to catch myself because I'm about to answer that phone call like I now <laughs> answer every phone call. Hey man. So yep. now it's a ten hey man, how's it going? You yeah, know, you it's catch a slightly yourself. toned down version of it. Yeah, you catch Has yourself. he caught you in like imitating him yet? I don't think he noticed no? when I did he it. He doesn't notice. No. I don't think he noticed. He never said anything. Anyways. My favorite is it's the hey man. And the one well, man, that's when you know. That's <laughs> well, when man? you know the interview's about to be done. It's it's winding down. Yeah, yeah. time has come. I literally, I'll write it in the notes. <laughs> well, man, and, and all right, Dale's almost done. It's well, like man? when like when Southerners start saying, "Oh, all right, well, you yeah." Know. His, his is well, man. <laughs> time yeah. to go. That's, that's the cue. <laughs> it's amazing. Know. So we've all given our slight impressions, but there's He's actually okay. a, a person within the building here at JR Motorsports, Stephen Steffen. It's going to come in right now. We're going to invite him in because he is known to give maybe some of the best Dale Jr. impressions. And I cannot wait to hear all of these. Uh, hey, throw them headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> if you can. Uh -oh. Holy cow. Come on, come on, man. Steven, this is embarrassing, man. man. Come uh -oh. on, man. What the hell? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Why'd y'all give me these damn headphones? Hey, What's up? Hey, man. What are you doing? <laughs> yes, that's wow. a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That whenever you answer the phone, hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, yeah. I really what's I uh, there we go. <laughs> we have got right. the headphones figured out. I'm not a podcast expert here, so. Yeah, clearly. Um how would you rate our impressions? Oh, uh, they're pretty good, I think. Really? Yeah. I feel like he's being nice. I feel like everybody tries to talk like Dale. That, okay. Like th there's multiple people here that have Dale impressions. I just I've been doing it the longest, I think. So. When did you start? Well, McGee is a hundred percent accurate when like <laughs> I never I never sought out to do a Dale impression. It just I just started talking like it him. found you. Just like you were saying, Carla. Like, yeah. <laughs> just yeah he's it's fun to talk like him. So like he has the Dale isms like you were saying. Like he will always have a greeting like, Hey man. Or he goes, hey, What's up? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> yeah, or he'll that's combine them one. and he'll be like, Hey man, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> it just depends. And then you'll be like, Nothing, man. What what about you? Hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be like, hang it out. And then he'll like walk out of your office. Like, so back when I used to, I, yeah, like I used to uh, do a different job. He would just come in and, and just like, just say, hey. He'd be like, hey, man, what's up? And I'd be like, nothing. He'd be like, hang it out. And that, that was it. And then he'd walk out. I'm like, all right, cool. But that's just that. So. Who knew it. a short conversation could sound so exciting, yeah. right? Yeah, that sounds mm -hmm. so thrilling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And all then right. what he'll also like, he'll peek 
at least this is what I've experienced. He'll like kind of peek into the office, yes. and I won't see him there. Yeah. All of a sudden, and then all, yeah. the, hey man, oh my yeah. god, yeah. he loves to do that to me. My my office, my my computer faces the wall. Oh so, yes, you as can't you know, see like nobody. Can, I can't see anyone come in my office, and I always have headphones on. <laughs> and he'll come in, and he'll just like hover behind me. <laughs> if, he might be hovering behind me for ten minutes. I don't know, but he'll be like, "What are you doing?" Like, <laughs> and I was like, "Don't do that." I think Dale Jr. needs to start filming this when he scares y'all. Yeah. That would make oh, that great would be social media content. Oh, yeah. I need to hear some more some more impressions though. Like what else what else do we have? Y'all that... were just telling a story before we hit record. Yeah. Recently. Oh, our gas yeah. station right? gas station chicken story. Yeah, so Let's we went it. to uh <laughs> we went to Florence for the uh icebreaker and Carson rode with us. Got blasted on social media sleeping in the back seat on the way down. <laughs> sure uh -oh. did. Thanks, Dale. I was the driver <laughs> driving slowly through Mac B. As he says, <laughs> um, and we were we were driving through there. He's like, "Hey man, slow down, slow down. They they'll get you here. It's Mac B, man. It's Mac B, man. They're they're known for these tickets. Slow down. <laughs> like, got you. But uh, the race went really well. He finished fourth, and Carson won. And of course, Johnny Moore showed up, and it was a great day. And Dale was in a phenomenal mood. Best mood ever. And uh, we stop. Well, we were gonna stop at a chicken place, right? And, well, uh, we just didn't really know what we were going to get for dinner yeah. because it's like, you know, it's nine o'clock in this town in South Carolina. We nothing is open. Yeah. It's basically so just, gas stations and sandwich shops. Yeah, so we're just, <laughs> Dale's just looking out the window, waiting to see something to yep. eat. And that brings us to. And none of us, none of us have eaten anything all day. So we're all starving. And he's just like, hey, man, look at that chicken over there. That, that sounds cool. And then we drive by, and he's like, yes, we're not going there. Like, well, you got to you gotta let me know if we're going to stop or not. And he's like, stop at this gas station right here. So so I pull a hard left in the uh, Suburban we're driving, and we go in the sandwich shop. And it's me, Carson, Dale's pilot, Joey, who spots for him in the uh, late model. And uh, we're just ordering our food, and Joey's the first to order. And, of course, the – Sandwich shop uh, employees like, is that Dale Earnhardt Jr.? And he's like, Joey's like, why don't you ask him? And he goes, are you Dale Earnhardt Jr.? And Dale goes, yes, sir, I am. <laughs> he is so happy. It was it was hilarious. Like he just he was just so happy from the race, and um, he took pictures with them and made their day. So that's always fun being with him when people recognize him and he you know makes their day like that. So we were. Uh we were before the season we kind of had a preseason like everyone on the download you know team bonding type thing and he wanted to go to an antique mall with uh me <laughs> dalton alex Timms. it was great we just walked around and just kind of looked at the different booths and stuff but there was one guy with a shopping car he's like hey junior and dale's like, hey you know <laughs> hey, hey hey whoa well, like he's yeah like matching their energy yeah. it was awesome it was awesome yep. it was great yeah, incredible. <laughs> yeah, man, and we also asked some fans out there to send in their Dale impressions. Mm -hmm. So we sent the phone number out, and we actually got a couple of calls. So Stephen, you're going to stay here and help us kind of grade these Dale Junior impressions. So let's go ahead and play the first one. Six wins at Talladega ain't sh Daddy won ten of them there. Pretty short one. What do you? What do we think of that? Uh, it's, his voice is too deep. His, uh, oh, so he was. He doesn't have a twang. He was screwed yeah. from the get go. <laughs> yeah. He he did not stand a chance. No. But that was the actual quote, right? That Del Jr. said. quote. Yeah. It was somewhat yeah. close to that. I think. I think they were like, and he's like, ah, don't mean shit, Daddy won ten here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one needed a little more twang and yeah. a couple more octaves. And I think. when he wins yeah. races, he's super high pitched. Right. Like, because he's Bristol, excited. He'd be like, man, it's Bristol. I can't believe it. <laughs> You know, like that's an octave only so many yeah. people can hit. I think yeah. you just broke a glass over here. Honest, I heard a shatter that, somewhere. He extremely, he's extremely high pitched when he's very excited. All right, let's go ahead and roll the second one. Hey man, this is uh, Grant from Ohio. Oh, a little bit of my favorite from Dale Jr. One quote on the radio. I was just daydreaming a little bit about racing, or the funny one of I don't know. Let me ask it. Track bar, are you helping me? I, he he hit the racing. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, I remember both of those because I'm a big I'm a big radioactive fan. So oh, mm -hmm. me it's too. always yeah. fun. To, it's me always too. fun to hear Dale on the radio because he's completely different once he's in the race car. Yeah. And yeah, he'd be like, I don't know, track bar, are you helping me? Yeah, like, like some of the little yeah. things he rattles off in his quick wit. I'm yep. like, where where did that come from? Yes. 
He's one of the most witty people I've ever met. He just I don't just even has, think he knows it either. No, no he doesn't. He does not he's not and it's in his trying. own special way. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. sometimes you have to look at him and be like, do I laugh? Are we being serious? <laughs> like what's going on here? Yes. I got a, a quick story that about his wit. We we were playing basketball in the Dirty Mo Basketball League several years ago. A lot of people know about that league. And I would wear a Fitbit while I'm playing basketball because it was a workout to me, right? It is a workout. So <laughs> you're I'm right like, to do that. I'm counting my, you know, I'm, I want to know how many steps I got, how many calories I'm burning, <laughs> all that. Heck yeah. So we're in the middle of the game and my Fitbit comes off. And Dale, his team plays after ours, so he's just watching. And all of a sudden you hear in the in the background, somebody count his steps. <laughs> <laughs> and the whole gym just loses it. We're, we're just like, how does he... How does he come up with this stuff? <laughs> that's so funny. And how do you so even good. respond to that? I, you don't. You, don't. You're, you're you, just, you can't. You just take defeated. it and You're yeah. defeated yeah. completely. God, that is elite. Yeah. That is, there. there is no, that was the right answer. That was the right thing to say. There's no <laughs> other thing that would have said that would have topped that. Couldn't then, have been funnier. And then there was an email after that game that said, no more electrical devices. Uh, so no y'all more had an email. a rule. Yep. Rule I'm, maker. A, I'm a rule maker in the DMV I was. <laughs> Way to go, 86 Steven. the Fitbits. Yeah, <laughs> it's the short quips. It's the cadence. It's and, and that's and when he does get on a roll and he talks about a story, I think that's what kind of draws you in, right? Because mm-hmm. you're listening. He's it, it's exciting to listen to him tell a st- story. Yeah. It's he's a story. He's yeah, a great story Just like McGee is as well. Don't Let's ever interrupt him though, because yeah, he'd be like, "Damn it, Stefan, I'm getting to it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get to that that last call. And uh, we won Daytona in 2004. And it was good, <laughs> real good. Had a lot of lot of great great people that night. Great things. I feel like he was getting there with the octaves. Yeah. Yeah. The pitch, he had to the punch, punch it, was close. Punch it a little bit more, but yeah. Dale it's, has like that rat, a little bit of like almost like a rasp too. Mm-hmm. Like like yeah. You got You got I think that's the touch. There's certain words he says. He's he's a stupid a lot. Yeah. Stupid. <laughs> and, uh, dear. Yep. And hail. Dear. What the hail? What, what the, the hail? hail? Yeah. Yep. He yeah. does do that. He, he I was, says competitive a lot. If you listen to a, a podcast, just have a competitive counter. Really? Yeah. Interesting. And he'll be like the... I have not picked up on he'll that. He'll be like the Toyotas. So he'll be like, <laughs> man, them Gibbs Toyotas were competitive this week. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Next time you need a download host, I think you just need Steve. <laughs> Can we get them both together oh my for gosh. a show and... How he, is Dale going to feel about us talking about his accent? I was wondering. I don't that. know. I was thinking about that on the way here. Because <laughs> you know, have you done this in like, front of him? Do, no, I do not do Uh-oh. it in front of him. Uh-oh. And I catch myself a lot of times, like trying not to talk like him when I'm with him. So, but again, it's sometimes it's not even you're not even trying. It's just you spend time with him and you end up like McGee said. You end up picking yes, it up. I, I'm you not know? trying exactly. exactly. But yeah. it's it's funny. Like he likes his voice. I know. Like because. We will be riding somewhere, and he'll just be watching a clip of himself talking. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'll be like, man, like I don't like hearing my own voice. So I'll be like, is it kind of cringy to hear your own voice? Like, no, man, I love my voice. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Confident, like, confident. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, I think we're out of calls, but we do have a tweet to share, right, Andrew? Oh, I think so. Should we go ahead and pull that one up? Somebody wasn't. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. We got Ste- a car <laughs> in the water. Yeah, Stephen. <laughs> oh, this funny. is you. <laughs> That's another one where uh, when he's broadcasting, he'll be like, "We got a crash!" Yeah. <laughs> Rick Allen will just be go- and be like, "We got a crash! Oh no!" <laughs> the slide job. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. Like, it's good to have enthusiasm, right? So we got a card in the water. Yeah. A car in the wow! Oh my god! <laughs> that was way too good for like yeah. the, uh, that. Yeah. Just like gave me goosebumps a little bit. I love yeah, and it's from the podcast. I can't. I think it was the Kyle Petty conversation. Are you kidding me, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> the way and, you and said the mic part there. Yeah, Mike's Mike, like Mike. Mike's yeah. like, well, that's not what Kyle Petty said. And I was like, what the? F- does Kyle Petty have to do with this? 